Hey everyone, Ryan Kretsch here. This is once again my favorite time of the year because we're at the beginning of 2019, which gives me the time to reflect back on 2018 and what kind of movies there has been. There's been some good and bad ones, but today in this segment, I'm gonna give you my top five worst movies of 2018. Now starting at number five of my worst movies of 2018, is Ocean's 8. Yes, they happen to do another Ocean's 11 movie. They've done Ocean's 11, 12, and 13. Well, what happened? They went backwards. It's, this is Ocean's 8. So this is really like the fourth in the series, but in this case, it's a female cast. Uh, so it doesn't help that much because this movie, it, it's, it's lost in other words. It's a heist movie and I just feel everything about it wasn't the best. It never drew me more to the crowd. I even walked, uh more early because I thought this movie it did this didn't react well with me my m motivation towards it uh, was kind of good hoping it would be good because it had a great cast as Anna Baldrick and Hathaway Kate Bishop uh, it that took pulled me to, to the theater but now this Ocean's 8 it's still a bomb I drowned and let's move on to number four okay So we're down to number four on this list now. So my number four worst movie of 2018 is Ralph Breaks the Internet. Another series in the Wreck-It Ralph series. I don't know why I went to see it to tell the truth because I really like Wreck-It Ralph a lot. It's a good salt movie that did not see, need a sequel. Uh, it kind of drew me to the, uh, the theaters just to see it, just to see if it would be better, which I kind of wish I took it back. I lost my time along with my money and I kind of wish I had that time back because now I got a, like a sequel of Wreck-It Ralph in my head that w this needs to go away. The whole movie is, uh, has no really no plot to it. Uh, it's through the internet, so it, all you're gonna see is a lot of advertisements and stuff like that. And uh, I, I want to say, I, I think that the best part of the movie is, is at the ending credits with, with the post credits. Uh, <laughs> if you guys know what I mean, you, that's, I think that was my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Everything else was just s sloppy. Of course, uh, the animation is great and everything, but they could have saved that animation to a better movie. Something maybe original, maybe for Disney can do. So this is number four on my list. I mean, I'm gonna move down to number three. So lightning at number three, we're in the middle of my list as it is, is A Wrinkle in Time. So if you guys have seen my review from earlier from last year, you Kind of going to know where I'm going with this because this was one of, one of my worst Disney movies I've seen in a while, along with Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> Disney has not been really good with movies lately. And I just feel they need to try to do something through it, try to come up with something original at least. Uh, it's not on this list, but the, uh, the Nutcracker in the Foreign Realms was also a, another bad movie I didn't care for because it's, except for, it, it's originally a ballet uh, play, but for uh, the movies, no, it, they, they worked it too much, but I'm working on, on number three on my movie right now, which is A Wrinkle in Time. And this Wrinkle in Time did not work as well. There's been so many attempts to make this movie right, but there's been so many remakes of this movie and no one can't get the story right. I read the story as a kid. It's a great book, but I guess it's just one of the stories that just have to be, you got to read the book if you really want to enjoy, this, uh, enjoy A Wrinkle in Time, okay? Don't go by any of the Wrinkle in Times. All of them have not been uh, succeeded to, uh, to actually complete this movie into a full greatness, in other words. So read the book, the book is better, and I'm gonna move down to number two now. We are getting close to the number one as it is, but right now we're at number two, and there's a movie on this list I haven't not mentioned Quite yet, but now I am. So my number two worst movie of 2018 is Fifty Shades Fruit. Did you, you probably saw that coming, didn't you? But guess what? You probably thought that was gonna be my number one worst movie of 2018. You are wrong. But Fifty Shades Fruit, I guess once again, when, when I just, was just talking about A Wrinkle in Time, most books I need to be just kept into a book. And I, I never read the book a trilogy of uh, Fifty Shades uh, Darker, but I've heard a lot of uh, people that have read it and said, yeah, it, it could be good, but it's also a little sexual and everything. I, I, I don't know how any guy would do, do, do that to any female. I, I would never do that to anybody, but I guess everything that's 
author needs to had to unleash his I don't know what he had to unleash, but he had to put something on pages to get readers to read it. But it's been a top seller from uh, probably from uh, most ladies, probably um, some guys maybe. I, it doesn't grab, still doesn't grab my attention after this trilogy of movies from Fifty Sage Darker because the, the, the first, second, and third were complete F's on my list. The first one actually tried a little bit. Second one, no, I don't know what exactly what's going on there. I, I know what's going on there, but I just didn't think it really worked that well with me. But uh, the third one, then uh, with the final one, no. <laughs> it, it just, what the heck is going on? If there's a book out there, if you really think it needs to be into a movie, all books don't need to be turned into movies. L leave them on the pages at least, okay? The, sound, the, the soundtracks to these movies have been really good, though. I gotta say, yes, the music has been good, but uh, the stories have been interesting. Doesn't grab my attention to still uh, uh, go out and read those books. Um, not no attempt to no, not to e even rewatch these movies. So, if you guys can actually uh, hear me talking about this, what do you guys actually think about the Fifty Shades Darker? If you have actually read them, leave a comment for me to let me know what you actually think of the books compared to the movies. So, after that, my little thought of that. Let's move to number one, please. Wow, so we're actually down to our number one movie now. So let's do a quick recap for a second for my worst movies of 2018. We start off at number five with Ocean's Eight. Then at four, we had Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet. Uh, three, A Wrinkle in Time. Two, we had Fifty Shades Freed, which you thought that would probably be number one on my list, but not this year. And, but my number one movie, worst movie of 2018, is a sequel to this as well. If you guys remember the movie Pacific Rim, yes, it is the sequel to that movie, which is called Uprising. And I, I just felt Pacific Rim was a great movie. Gamora Del Toro did an excellent job uh, with this movie in the first one, making a good, solid movie with a robot competing against Alien. The story is compelling as it is, and uh, they had decent, good actors in it that acted it well. But in the second one, there was completely no plot whatsoever. They turned it, and I don't know what, into a teenager movie. <laughs> How the heck did that happen? But if you guys can remember, I don't remember his name. Uh, there's a little boy in uh, Jesse, the, the Disney Channel, uh, uh, Jesse. Uh, he was one of the, uh, the lead roles, I probably would have to say. And I thought he was a good, decent actor. It's just this whole cast couldn't uh, pull through with this movie. Uh, the action uh, was messy. No self-direction whatsoever, and I just thought there's no reason to continue on with this movie. I, I would have really surprised if there was a continuation with this, but after what a great bomb it was at the box office, along with me, I, 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 I can't say this with me, but I know with a lot of people out there, I'm not the only one that really disliked this movie. I'm, I'm not too sure where this will go, if this will be a franchise or what. So... I knew back then, uh, after Pacific Rim, that there would be another sequel. It's just, this one was not done well. So, if there's any movies that were on this list that was uh, also with you before the worst movies of 2018, let me know. I'd love to hear comments. If not, I can't go out to every single movie out there, and I'd love to hear what your worst movie is for 2018. So, with that in thought, my name is Ryan Kretsch, and I'll see you guys at the movies next time. Thank you for watching and make sure that you give me those thumbs up.